Welcome to this 30-minute chair workout. This is a cardio interval. Beginning with a warm-up, dropping ear towards same shoulder, and then switching sides. Waking up through the neck and the tops of the shoulders. Then dropping chin to chest, and looking up. A little more work mobilizing through the neck. Chin drops and then chin lifts in a gentle range of motion. Next, some shoulder rolls forward and up and then back and down. Rolling through the shoulders. We're adding the arms. Hands come to shoulders, elbows circle with the shoulders. Then reversing that circle, so shoulders roll back and down and then forward and up, back and down, forward and up. Adding the arms, hands come to shoulders, elbows circle with the shoulders. Arms stretch to a T, then we rotate to one side, and then back to center, arms drop. Lift to a T, rotate opposite direction, back to center, and then drop. Continuing to lift and rotate, waking up through the center, the rotational muscles of the spine. Fold forward and around up through the spine, waking up through the whole length of the spine, maybe even getting into the hips as you hinge forward at the waist. Hinging forward, rounding up, and reversing that. The chin tucks and we roll down through the spine and then coming up on a long spine, maybe even extending into the back space a little bit. Chin tucks, we roll down and extending up. Mobilizing through the lower body, we lift one heel and then the other, alternating heel lifts. And changing things up, lift the toes, toes reach back toward the shins. And circling through the ankle joints, rolling one direction and then switching directions. Waking up through the legs a little more, stretching the leg out in front of you and then returning. Waking up through the quadricep a little bit here and then switching sides. Rolling through the ankle on the second side, switching directions of that circle. And once again, it's that leg extension. Waking up through the quadriceps here. Then heading into a stretch overhead, same side, arm reaches overhead in a side bend stretch, switching sides, other arm reaches overhead, waking up through the side body, and switching sides, circling through the torso. It's a reach overhead and a circle forward and up. A reach overhead, a circle forward, and return to a tall seat. Just waking up through the spine a little bit more. Heading into a chair march. We're getting that heart rate up a little bit more. Pumping the arms if that feels comfortable. Getting the whole body engaged here. Feeling some length in the spine. Some firmness through the core, support through the abdomen. As we get ready to head into our first interval, we'll change this march up a little bit. We'll be stepping out wide and then back to center. Stepping out wide and center. Moving at your own pace here. It doesn't have to be with the music. It could be faster or slower than I'm moving. I'm gonna change up the arms a little bit here. Pressing the arms overhead the legs continue to march out and back to center. Change up the legs a little bit, tap out side to side. And we're 
we're ready for our first interval, which is a chair jack. Arm stretch overhead, legs stretch open wide, in a range of motion that's comfortable for your body, and at a pace that gets your heart rate up. So it could be with the music, it could be faster or slower than I'm moving. Continue to breathe as we work through this first cardio interval with these chair jacks. This one definitely gets my heart rate up quite a lot. Really a full body exercise. Everything's working. From core out to fingertips and toes. That is our interval break. Take a breather and we're setting up, turning to one side sitting with one leg supported under the chair and the outside leg presses back and then forward pumping the arms up toward the sky I call this a Charleston lunge after the Charleston dance move here so one leg is supported on the chair the other leg is stretching forward and back in a comfortable range of motion moving at your own pace and breathing here we're doing one side now we're going to switch and do the other side next continue to breathe here and work in this charleston lunge getting the heart rate going and that is our break we're going to switch sides turning to face the other direction outside leg stretches back once again, the leg is going to, outside leg is pumping forward and back. The arms are pressing up toward the sky. You're moving at your own pace and range of motion here to find your cardio workouts. Continue to breathe and move. Arms pumping, outside leg moving forward and back for just a few more seconds we're down to five four three two and that is our interval break take a little breather and we're heading back to center centering on our chair setting up for a skater switch move. The arms stretch to a T, one leg stretches long and we reach toward the opposite knee or ankle, twisting through the torso as the one leg stretches out to the side. The skater switch, much like the chair jack, is really a full body exercise. The torso is moving, the arms and legs are moving. Like other moves, you have choice in range of motion, how big your movement is, and at your pace, how quickly or slowly you choose to move here. A few more seconds in this skater switch interval. And that is our break. Taking a little breather, we're heading into our heel digs exercise next arms will be overhead and legs will alternate stretching out in front the heel kind of leads the way arms mirror legs and we're breathing here legs reaching out forward and to the side slightly heels just gently tapping down the arms switch side to side. And a few more seconds in this interval. Moving at your own pace. In five, four, three, two, and that is our interval break. Next up is our chair sprinting exercise. It helps to lean slightly back with a long spine for this exercise, and maybe even just tap the toes on the earth in front of you. 
and then we're essentially mimicking a run or a sprint in the chair. So alternating lifting the feet, pumping the arms. You can move quickly or more slowly. You can pump the arms in a smaller or bigger move. You do want to be careful of your elbows here though. Be mindful of where your chair back is. As the elbows pump back, continue to breathe. This is another one that really gets the whole body going. Core is really working, legs and arms are working. And we're continuing to breathe for a few more moments. That is our break. All right, we're heading into what I call a push out exercise. No arms will press overhead with the leg moving out at the same time, two times, and then switch the other direction. Push out twice, and then push out. First side, push out two times, second side. So this move is inspired from a salsa dance move, a two-step salsa dance move um, that has a similar kind of feel um, with two steps to each side and before you head back to the other direction. The arms pressing overhead also really uh, bring the arms into this work. You can reach the arms higher or maybe even press the arms lower toward the floor um, to adjust your intensity level in this move. And that is our interval break. Next up is going to be a knee lift with a twist. Hands can lift up to the head for this one, or you can leave the arms in a T-shape. One knee lifts, and we twist toward that knee, and alternating sides. Once again, moving at your own range of motion and pace. Continue to breathe as we twist through the torso and lift the knees one at a time. A few more breaths here. Inhaling and exhaling. And set break here in five, four, three, two. And that is our break. Continuing to breathe, maybe rolling the shoulders a little bit. Our half jacks are next, so one arm and one leg. Uh, one arm reaches overhead, the uh, same leg reaches out to the side, and we switch sides, alternating here. So, arm reaches, the leg stretches out, switching side to side. It's a half jack exercise. Once again, really getting the full body involved. And continuing to breathe. As you work through this interval for a few more seconds. Tapping the legs out, maybe feeling a stretch through the side body, a little dynamic stretching there. A few more seconds. And that is our break. Our last exercise in this round are front kicks. The arms are gonna stretch overhead and we'll alternate kicking forward one leg at a time. Arms pull down toward the leg and kicking side to side. This is another one where a little lean back with a tall spine can be helpful. Continue to breathe for a few more moments in this front kick exercise. This one's inspired by some uh, air boxing or kickboxing work. Front kick is a pretty classic move in those uh, forms of exercise and movement. And just a few more seconds here. That is our break. Take a breath here, maybe a sip of water getting ready to head into our round two of exercises. We're 
back to our chair jacks, arms and legs stretching out wide, arms overhead. Firming through the core here, doing your best to keeping the spines tall as you work. My heart rate is definitely up here. Yours might be as well. If you would like to or feel that a break would be helpful here, a little longer break, feel free to take that here instead of these chair jacks. And our break is in five, four, three, two, and break. That Charleston lunge is next, so we're turning to one side. You can see here I'm actually checking my heart rate, <laughs> seeing if maybe I need to take a little break here. Looks like I'm okay though, so we're switching to the other side. It's a Charleston lunge. Uh, so facing to one side, the outside leg pumps forward and back, arms press skyward. We're really grounding the leg on the chair whole glute and leg as is possible. Continue to breathe here. As we work in this Charleston lunge exercise, I find this is a really nice one to open up through the front of the hip. Um, a lot of the chair movements um, really work the muscles in the front of the hip and this is one that allows a little opening. That's our break here. Take a few breaths. I'm going to switch that Charleston lunge to the other side. So supporting that leg on the chair, outside leg is going to pump forward and back. And the arms press skyward. And once again, this can be a nice opening, a dynamic stretch for the front of the hip, the hip flexor, so as muscle. Um, a lot of the chair exercises, our hip flexors are engaged. So this is a nice opportunity to find a little opening in that area of the body. Continuing to move at your own pace, your own range of motion. A few more breaths here. Five, four, three, two, and that is our break. Great work, continuing to breathe here. Our skater switches next. This is arms to a T, the torso rotates as one leg stretches out to the side. The hand reaches toward knee or ankle of the bent leg. Moving more quickly or slowly. And just like me, if you need to adjust your chair, make some movement or change to any of these uh, exercises, you are welcome to do so. As we're working through round two, we can start to feel a little tired. Our heart rate and breathing rate has been up for maybe 10 or so minutes. Continue to firm through the core Keep a lengthened spine. That is our interval break, especially as we begin to get tired. Be mindful of alignment and form. So we're continuing to move safely as we head into those heel digs. So alternating a leg stretching out, the heel tapping down, the arms switch side to side. And arms can be higher overhead or you can bring the arms lower down toward the floor as well. Once again, moving at a pace that's comfortable for your body. You're getting the cardio workout you need or want today. Continue to breathe in this heel digs, alternating sides. A few more seconds here in this interval. That is our interval break. Our chair sprinting exercise is next. This one is helpful if you take a lean back on a tall spine. That can help balance 
counterbalance the leg movement. And toes tapping on the ground, moving as slowly or quickly as you like here in this chair sprint. Arms are pumping by the sides. You can speed up or slow down at any moment. Continue to work in this interval for just a few more seconds. Tall spine, abdomen firm here for five, four, three, two, and that is our interval break. We are just past halfway in this round. Our push out uh, side to side is next. This is that salsa inspired move. So one leg goes out to the side two times. The arms press overhead or closer toward the floor. Just alternating sides, pushing out twice to one side and twice to the other side. Finding your breath. And a pace, range of motion. That's going to work for you. Continuing to press side to side for a few more moments in this interval. And that is our break. Taking a few breaths, maybe rolling the shoulders. It's our knee lift and twist. Hands can come to the head, elbows bent if that feels comfortable. And alternating lifting knees, and twisting toward that bent knee. Once again, a pretty full body exercise here. The arms are lifted, the torso is twisting, the legs are moving. Sensing into a tall spine as we twist and lift the legs. A few more breaths here in this knee lift and twist. For five, four, three, two, and break. We are on to our last two exercises. Our next one is a half jack. This is the arms reaching overhead, or one arm reaches overhead as the same leg taps out to the side. And just switching sides. That's that side bend with the leg tapping out to the side. And just alternating sides. Continuing to breathe here. Maybe finding a little bit of dynamic stretch through the side body. Moving at a pace, um, faster or slower than the music or than I'm moving, that's comfortable for you. Reaching through a range of motion overhead and to the side, that's comfortable and that brings you to the cardio workout you'd like. That is our break. Take a little breather here into our very last interval of the workout, our front kicks. So the arms are pulling down as one leg kicks forward and just alternating sides in this cardio kickboxing inspired movement. As you kick out, think about bringing the leg out but also actively bringing the leg back in. So really engage stretch out of the leg and an engaged return back. When you do kick, uh, you do wanna keep a little bit of bend in the knee. So you don't need the leg to be perfectly straightened out as the leg kicks forward. A little bend in the knee is helpful to keep the knee joint from hyperextending in this front kick. Five, four, three, two, and one, and nice work. We are ready for a cool down. We'll start with just a slow march 
lifting alternate feet, gently pumping the arms. So taking some slower movement for a little while to gently bring the heart rate down. You know, my heart rate was definitely up pretty high. It was definitely in my moderate to intense training zone. So we're trying to gradually bring that heart rate down back to a resting level and just doing some slower marching. And maybe gradually slowing that march down. Maybe a little smaller range of motion as our heart rate begins to come down. A few more moments here in this march. And sweeping the arms to shoulder height and shaking the hands out down. As we continue our cool down, we can continue to march here as the arms lift and shake down. Or if you're feeling like your heart rate's pretty low, you might even find some stillness through the legs. Continuing to breathe, keeping the arms pretty low here, shoulder height or lower feeling a little release through the upper body and rolling alternate shoulders back, feeling a little movement through the spine, the shoulder joint, maybe some release even through the tops of the shoulders, and reversing that circle in the shoulder. Alternate shoulder rolls forward, maybe feeling a little opening through the mid back some space between the shoulder blades. And sweeping the arms to that T-shape, we'll interlace the hands in front of the chest and then press the hands forward, uh, feeling a little more space between the shoulder blades, so stretching out through the mid-back. I'm also rounding my spine here forward, letting the chin sink toward the chest in this stretch. And releasing, interlacing the hands with the low back or using a strap um, or a scarf the hands, dropping the knuckles toward the floor and then lifting away from the low back into a comfortable stretch through the front of the heart space, the front of the shoulder. A few more breaths here. And then releasing that stretch, turning to one side, we'll ground the inside leg on the chair and outside leg, the knee points down toward the floor outside arm reaches up and over into a side bend. It helps to maybe tuck the pelvis under a little bit. So imagining the tailbone pointing a little bit more toward the floor as you stretch in the side bend. So we're stretching through the side body muscles, but we're also looking to stretch through the front of the hip, the iliopsoas muscles. Releasing out of that and reaching toward back ankle, could use a scarf for a strap here as well to take a quadricep stretch. A few breaths here and then switching sides. We'll face the opposite direction, grounding the inside leg on the chair. Outside leg, the knee will point right toward the floor. And outside arm reaches up and over in a side bend stretch. Just like first side, it's helpful to think about the tailbone tucking under a little here. So maybe imagining the tailbone pointing more toward the floor to feel a little more of the stretch through the front of the hip. A few more breaths here. And the quadricep stretch is next reaching for that outside ankle or foot. You could also use a scarf, a strap here, stretching through quadricep. A few breaths here. So we're heading into the end of our cool down. Coming back to center. Take a hamstring stretch here. So stretching one leg out and then resting some support on the bent knee 
side, leaning forward to find a stretch through the back of the upper leg. A few breaths here. And our last stretch of the cool down. And then switching sides, opposite leg stretches out, resting hands, some support on the bent knee, and leaning forward, stretching the hamstring on the opposite side. A few breaths here. Maybe rolling the shoulders a little bit. Thank you for working out with me today.